G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back once again to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17, where I am back in my bathroom base, back in the Dishong Tower Challenge, where we finally have our wonderful forge, it's been kicking along, it smelled some iron for me, everything, looking, is, everything is looking pretty good, we just survived the Day 7 Horde, which means it's now Day 8, and we've got a whole nother week of shenanigans to go through to try and get some better and better stuff, the goal eventually will be to get off the roof in a gyrocopter or die trying. I reckon it's probably going to be the latter of those two, but I'm going to get my best shot on the way there, even so. Uh, what do I actually have? You got some money and stuff like that. I got only a couple of uh, casino tokens, so I can't really buy much out of the vending machines. But things are going reasonably well, I think. I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good about all of this. It's just a matter of keeping going up and up and up the tower to try and get some better and better and better stuff. Fixing up this stairwell was probably one of the smarter things I've ever done. And get all the way up to almost the top of the tower that I've been to so far without having to do anything other than just run up the stairs. Oh, no, that's as far as I can go, but I can get out here, up to there, and up to there, and across this pipe, and up and out. Okay, so... We're almost to the top of the building. We're finally getting up into, like, the apartment parts, which uh, is pretty good. Uh, well, I think there's usually some decent loot up there. But more importantly, it means that I'm slowly but surely getting up to the point where I can get up to the very, very top where all the really good loot is. And once I get up there, I reckon I'll get everything I ever needed. Uh, I am missing a pickaxe. As people did say that, why don't I just buy, like, make myself a pickaxe? And I can't yet because I don't know the required recipes. I don't have that part unlocked. I'm missing anything in here. It's about garbage. Oh, it's an old sink. Some coffee beans and some more acid. Right, so we're going to push through, get to the next part, and hopefully not die. I'm a little bit nervous about going further up, because uh, now that we've gone through the first horde, the game stage is going to be a bit later, which means there's going to be some harder zombies. There's probably going to be some whites and ferals and all sorts of nonsense up there, all of which can kill me very, very easily, because I am not good under pressure. Here we go. A brand new floor. Everything is painted red, which is kind of nice, and I plan on uh, covering the rest of these surfaces in red, but instead of it being paint, just going to be some zombie blood. Oh, yep, there's a couple. There's a couple. There's just put one to do. Should I be using the bow? I should probably be using... Oh, that was a steel arrow. I really shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, I should probably be using, like, my club and stuff first, yeah? I think... I, I don't know. Whatever. Just make, just make sure of it. God, I don't even care, though. I was expecting a one-hit kill. That was why I was going to use the bow. But if I can't get one-hit kill, there's no use in me doing it. So I may as well just cruise up with my flaming club of chlamydia and just be like, huh? Ah, right in the chin. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. And I've only woken up a couple of them. Can I, can I kill you before? Oh, shit. No, I can't. Can I accidentally hit the glass pane. All right, now they're all going to come out. All right, if you guys just want to come out here, I'm not going to come into the individual office, you know? You can't just send for me up to your office. You have to come down to meet me. Come to the boardroom, come sit around this table, and we'll talk about this like men. Well, I mean, you're zombies, but close enough. I can't believe I went so long without using clubs. Melee is actually really good once you get used to it. I mean, I was using the bow for like the entire of Alpha 16 and all of the early Alpha 17. I just got used to only ever using the bow. But now I'm getting slightly better at melee, it definitely feels like something that is a staple in my gameplay now. I never used it before, but now I just I just feel out of place without my head exploding clubby goodness. Oh, missed him. That's all right. Now I don't panic as much either. If you don't panic, you can do a lot of good things. It's like just cave in all of their heads and then stand amongst the corpses of your vanquished foes. Oh, yes. That's really good. A level two compound bow. I will take that. I'll even take the pink die out of my standard bow. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service, but I don't no, no longer need you. Modify that. Put the pink die in there. Good, good, good. That is very good. I did. I do like the normal bow. It serves its purpose, but the compound bow is always going to be preferable to the old stick and string. Oh, I hear someone coming for me. Someone is awake. Someone is awake somewhere. I will go find them at some point, but there's more looting to be done first. Are you hiding anything behind you? Also, these are like, supposed to be the portraits of the people whose offices this is. Can you imagine having a portrait of yourself in the office? That would be bloody ridiculous. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, power stroke. Oh, it's good. It's so good. It looks like something got destroyed here, because this doesn't look like normal placement of uh, blocks in this Dishong Tower. And it's stone as well. So I'm not sure how that's happened. Something's fallen down. There's no more zombies in here. I've got the new compound bow, and I want to test out to see if now that I have that, if I can do one-hit kills with my, uh... Oh, Stone Harrows, where did you come from? You're hiding in the ceiling. Were you waiting for me to let my guard down before you came in and fucked me up? Yes, you were. Yes, you were, but now you've got... Oh, God, what happened to your neck? Oh, God, you got friends too. Ow! They're all hiding in the ceiling. 
Oh, I got real complaints. I thought there was only one. And this guy was like lagging behind, bringing up the rear. Is there any more Jeffries up here? Anyone? Anyone at all? No, nope, you're, just, you're just trolling me now? Right, I see how it is. I see you up there, buddy. I see you. All right, this is the, for the first test of the compound bow. Oh, and it does get the one hit kill. The compound bow is so much better. Oh, Jesus, than the regular bow. God, thank God you came out facing the other way, or else you would really have smacked me in the forehead there. Come on, come to the door and ah, uh, just, just, I mean, oh, how many of you guys are up there? It's like the clown car of ceilings. Oh, oh, here comes some military guys. Just got to level up. Where did the military guys come from? I'm going to quickly run in here because there's some spikes and stuff. I'm going to get him caught on. Another one there. Ooh, a military checkpoint. Oh, there's lots of mil- Okay, I probably shouldn't have run straight in here and woken everybody up. That might have been a little bit silly. Just, ah, uh, hit you. Hit set you on fire. No, missed that one. Damn it. And come on. Oh, God damn it. Just set- There we go. I just want to set him on fire. Even though the fire doesn't do much, I like knowing that there's some damage over time. Oh, boy. That was a, that was a whole thing. But I did get the extra point to put it into something. Uh, Shotgun Messiah. I do want to put points into Shotgun Messiah because it definitely helps me. Maybe running gun also will help me if I'm running away from a horde or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't put any more into these ones. Where is probably going to be the best? Probably slow metabolism. Yeah, no, that's definitely the right one. So if it, because food and water are so hard to come by, I mean, water is reasonably okay. I live next to a pool after all, and uh, I can boil the water as much as I need. But food is definitely going to be something uh, that is going to come into play a little bit later. Not so much now. I've got plenty of canned food, and I've got like the hunks of pork from that pig I lured in that one time. But eventually, I'm going to run out of food, and I'm going to need to make sure that I have the maximum possible um, metabolism, or slowest possible metabolism, to not burn through it as quickly as possible. Anyone else in here? It's just a stupid table, not anything useful. Alright, we, we, we're keeping on, keeping on. What's the next bit? Oh, good. Platforming. Because I'm amazing at platforming. This is going to go swimmingly. Nice and easy. Don't panic. Just hop straight across. Oh, Vulture. Uh-oh. Vulture, 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 Vulture. Take him back inside because I need the feather. No! Oh! Oh, 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 okay. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Where's the vulture? Oh my god. I almost fucking carked it right there. Oh god, I got out of there. Good. Oh, almost landed on the spikes. Almost missed the lip and fell down and broke my ankles or something. That was just a bad time. I did not enjoy that. Now I need to find my way back up there. Jeez. Oh, oh, panic station's 18,000. Ow, ow, vulture. Vulture's following me in and he's like swerving and doing all sorts of good things. Well, that was a good shot. Ah, uh, no, it didn't get him. Ah, uh, come on, Vulture, just stay still for two seconds. Ah, uh, uh, just swing your freaking club. Oh, my stamina. Wait and stamina. Wait and stamina. Come on, there we go. Damn it! I keep expecting him to fly up, and he keeps not. Oh, you know what? Stuff this. I'm sick of this nonsense. How did that miss? How do I keep missing everything? It's a fucking feathered rat. How am I not killing it? Oh my god, Josh, this is just embarrassing now. What is wrong with you? There we go. Jeez, that was, uh, I didn't even bring my club, uh, not my club. I didn't even bring my, uh, my shiv or my, my machete. Oh, silly. I have to get some feathers out of you this way. I can't believe how bad that was. I shot so many arrows at him and missed them all. And he finally swooped in and clogged me in the head a little bit. And then just flew around in circles until six years later, I decided to kill him. Let's eat some painkillers and drink some, I've got plenty of water on me. Oh, I'm, I'm just mad at myself. I'm just mad at myself about that. Let's try this again, this time without the almost breaking of my ankles. Like, look, that would have been really bad. That almost went really far south for me. Uh, across to there. Any more vultures anywhere? I don't think so. I hope not. But this time, if there is, I'm just going to have to kill them in the great outdoors rather than running... Oh, oh vulture. Oh, rather than having to try and run away to protect my future feather investments. God, you did that well. I can't even see you in the sun. It's like a dogfire in World War II. Uh, okay, I'm safe here for the moment. Let's just try and get inside. Oh, just, oh, oh, oh. Okay, in, in, in. Oh, God, there's lots of vultures coming for me. There's one. Come on, I need the other one to come down. There's no vultures. Uh, those zombies coming up behind me. Oh, that was, uh, that was intense. I almost didn't make that jump because I didn't, like, see it coming before I was already sprinting away from the feathered rats. Where is the other douchebag? Come down here and fight me like the chicken you are. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, where did you come from? Thank God I turned around at that exact moment to harvest that vulture, or else I wouldn't have seen you at all. That was, uh, that was scary, but it's all right. He's now dead. There's no friends coming for me. Finish off the vulture. I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of feathers now, which is good. My arrow supplies will be topped up. We're almost to the top, though. We've only got one more level to go. 
Oh, I want that sweet loot. I'm so close to that sweet loot. I can almost taste it, but it's going to be hard. It's got a lot more dick bags to get through first. I see that secret door back there. Can I get in there? Is there... I might just have to beat my way through because I reckon it'll be something good back there. If you've got to, like, board up the doorway like this, you're clearly hiding something. Why are there spikes on the outside of the building there? Is that... That's a little bit peculiar. There must be something good down here. That's, that's a risky jump. I don't need to do the risky jump. I can just beat down this thing and drop down there nice and securely and not have to try and jump onto six inches of concrete on the edge of a, what, like a 20-story building, whatever this is. Are there any zombies coming for me before I do this? So I don't get, like, trapped in there. I don't think so. Drop down to here. There's got to be something. There's gotta, you wouldn't put those there if you weren't protecting something. <gasps> oh. Oh, wait, is that like the loot room of this place? Because you, you go up to the roof and then you drop down into the loot room. I think that's the, that's, that is the loot room. Ah, so I could, is there, is there a broken window or something? No more spikes. So I could just like break down one of the windows or the concrete or something if I had the ability to do that. Or maybe I could just break, beat down that door. Oh, oh, there's a fridge in front of it. There's a fridge and a door and, like, probably a 2,500 uh, health uh, concrete block. All right, so they've, they've, they've definitely secured that place reasonably well. But that's all right. I'm okay with that. Let's go back around here. There's still more to go. There's uh, some more loot on the rest of this floor as well. But at least now I know what was behind that door. I was right. There was something good back there. There was a reason they secured it. I see you, buddy. I see you over there. Ah, uh, wait. What? How did that miss? Ah. Uh. There we go, that's better. I'm going to take another shot at you as well, just because I want to kill you before I actually get over there. Nope, you're still alive. There was a vulture on top of the kitchen cabinets as well, but I saw him, so he didn't surprise me and come and claw me in the back of the head. The vultures are possibly the worst... Alright, that was a quite a lot of noise. The vultures are possibly the, the worst kind of enemies to come up against in this game. Just because, like, their chance of making you bleed is so bloody high. Like, a regular zombie might stun you, probably kill you, but it's not going to, like, hit you once and let you bleed out in the side of the, of the road, you know? Like, that's the worst part about the vultures. The, them themselves, not that much of a danger. Just bleeding out from their super sharp, like, seven-inch long talons, the bad time. Kill you. Hey, Arlene, how you doing? Just hanging out at the top of a skyscraper? Yeah, you always told me you were going to be a hooker in an apartment block. I didn't think you'd end up like this, though. Oh, that is a good find. Some raw meat in the old stainless steel fridge. Uh, we're looking, looking pretty okay. That's the way I'm supposed to go. This is where Arlene came from. Anything in the bookshelf? Some paper that I can make shotgun rounds out of that, though. I do need to start thinking about making my own ammo. Ammo is going to be... Uh, yeah, I'll take them, whatever. Ammo is going to be the biggest limiting factor here after food. So if I can start making my own ammo once I get the workbench sorted, that's a cool little shower. Then that will be very, very good for long-term survivability of Josh. Break that. No, nope, nothing there. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, some more zombies. Anyone else down here? Anyone behind me? No, nope, looking reasonably okay. All right, just one rad zombie. Well, not even rad. The radiation suit zombie is pretty okay. Um, I was going to say as well. So, like, uh, when I first started this series, I was talking about how after the Horde Knight, I could probably leave and uh, go get stuff or whatever. But then I decided that would be a bad idea. A lot of people in the comments were talking about how if it's a Dishong Tower challenge, you should just stay in Dishong Tower, which I kind of agree with. That made a lot of sense to me. So I'm not going to leave after the Horde Knight. But I was thinking that maybe if I could get a full suit of radiation um, uh, a suit, I guess, the radiation suit, then I could uh, maybe leave for a day if I get that. But then I, I don't even think that's actually in the game anymore, the old rad suit. That's a new level up. Oh, the vulture's almost going to fall down, though. Don't want to rush over there, though, and quickly get my face kicked in by a zombie. No, no, we're good, we're good, God, you really, uh, you really clung on with those big talons there, didn't you? Good job. What are you doing out there, Arlene? That's not a place for you. You're not supposed to be out on the windowsill. Can I knock you off? No, oh, you were out there with him. Oh, I see, you got bored of the cowboy, and you've taken off with old mate Watermelon. Oh, I see how it is, I see how it is. You needed some privacy, so you went out onto the balcony. You're a fast little bitch too now, are you? You were even a bit faster than the regular Arlene's were, I think. What was out there? What were you doing out here? Any secrets? Any secrets? Oh, no, there's a lantern over there. That is the way I'm supposed to go. Where was I? Why was I leaning down this way? What was she doing? There's so many questions I have to ask, and you're not giving me any answers. Oh, oh, they came out to find me. They found me on the ledge outside. Well, I mean, they, they can think about when they came outside onto this ledge to find me on, on her entire way down. <laughs> it's a shooting star zombie. <laughs> Well, you should have thought of that before you came out to try and fight me on the skinny-ass balcony out here. That was a bad move on your part. Oh, there's another zombie down there. 
Just go like this. Just go. All oh, right, that right through his head. Didn't care though. Well, ow! You son of a! Uh oh, oh! Don't crouch! Don't crouch! That was bad. Use, I'm bleeding out. Use a bandage. Where the hell did you come from? I probably should have checked my left when I walked through that bloody door. And there's a vault up there. I see you. I see your flappy, fl bloody, bloody wings hanging out inside the corner of that room. I'll get to you in a second. Right now, I need to deal with this idiot. Ah, ha, ha, I knew it. I came back. Oh, some ammo. I came back here just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And sure enough, I did. Anything behind the mirror. Now I've got a bunch of broken glass that I don't ever, ever need. Throw that away. Drink the extra bottle of water because it's taking up a slot all to itself. Uh, what can I throw away in here? What don't I need right now? What, what can I even scrap maybe? I've got the cooking pots. I've got plenty of cooking pots, but I have a cooking pot at home. So I might just like scrap those ones because I get myself unencumbered again. Okay, we're good. This time, back out this way. Make sure I'm careful. No more zombies should come out to join me. Oh, I'm still mad at myself. I'm mad at myself. Look, I came in here and I got so distracted. I, th I thought there was a wall here or something. I thought it was a dead end. It wasn't. I was just an idiot. That is the way up though. That's the way up to the roof. Oh, it's almost 2200 o'clock as well. It's almost the end of the day. We're going to make it to the roof today. I just want to quickly get inside the popping pills for some health. Health would be really good right now. Or just anything that will like, uh, further my chances of survival. But I guarantee you, it'll be nothing. Probably just some nitrate powder. Ready? Nitrate powder. Nope, 12 empty glass jars. Just as useless as nitrate powder. We've made it to the roof. The all-important roof. Ah, ah, ah. Get through the freaking gap, please. There we go. All right, what kind of what kind of zombie dick bag is gonna be awaiting me up here? What have we got? We've got a. That looks. Is that just like a fat Hawaiian? It looks like. Yep, fat Hawaiian. I see a vulture up on the roof and a Chelsea. Another vulture there. Another. Okay, so I got plenty of vultures. Four vultures at least, probably more. But no, like no rads that I can see. Nothing. Nothing too bad as far as I can notice. Uh, I might even. You know what? I might have just do this. Let's go up here, get like a bird's eye, eh, a bird's eye view of the whole situation. Because then once I'm up there, eh, there we go. I can uh, get some like some sweet bow shots on any Jeffries who are asleep down there, especially those bloody vultures. Up, 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 up. Ooh, and a duffel bag. You even know there's a duffel bag up here. What have you got for me? Nothing normal. Eh, no shit. Oh, god damn it! Please don't break your ankles now. I remember this one time, a very long time ago. I jumped off here onto hay bales at the very bottom to test how like efficient and effective the hay bales were, and it worked like an absolute charm. <laughs> That's a long time ago now. All right, vultures. What have we actually got down here? Got plenty of zombies, but the vultures are the main target. Let's try and get some good shots like that. Oh, just a bit low. All right, a little bit higher. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? How did that miss? Okay, a little bit higher again. There. All right, that's just bullshit. Some of those must have hit. I don't know why you, you're fucking me around here, game. I'm wasting my arrows trying to kill this bloody vulture. Oh, just like the, the spread pattern of the bow is bullshit. I very bravely and courageously decided to abandon my plan of shooting from the... Oh, there is a rad. There is a rad over there. What is it? Rad spider? I think it is. Looks like. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll come out to play in a little bit. But I abandoned my plan from shooting from the top of the spire to come down and get some better shots on the vultures from here. Because this this way, the uh, the spread pattern of the bow won't make such a bloody difference. Over there. Oh, nailed him. I like the back, the backflip they do when you hit him nicely. What? How did that miss? Uh. Uh, are my arrows just apparently falling like stones? Because they should probably fly a little further than that. All of the vultures are dead. So let's clear if I can take out that nurse. Uh, like that. No, got the stealth damage. Didn't kill her. I assume most of the things up here are going to be ferals. Yeah, look at the glowing eyes and the super speed of the feral. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, get out of my zoom. And we're going to come down here. I'm going to fight your mano a mano without waking everyone up. So if you can come further over this way, away from all your friends. Where did you go? Oh, you're stuck on the... You're stuck on the freaking vents. Well, how did you get through medical school? How are you a nurse if you can't even figure out to turn right, you goose? I'm running out of time, but I'm trying to do this as stealthily and quietly as possible because I just really don't want to get into a punch on with a whole bunch of zombies. So the, the, the more I can take out, like, just uh, at one at a time, the better it's going to be for me. I'm turning this bloke into a pin cushion. He's got a lot of arrows right in all of his chins. Okay, that, that's too far. Too close for me. Turn around. Come on, straight line. There you go. And ah, uh, right in the forehead. Right in your big, juicy, meat low forehead. Come on. Come on. Die, please. Die, please. Oh, God. He's, 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 he's agile. He's agile for a big fella. He's nimble on his feet. You wouldn't think so, given that his ankles have turned into what effectively is ow. Just a big, like, twined up bowl of meat. Can I? Can I? Oh. Oh. He died. 
He died. Okay, that's fine with me. I'll quickly just take all of this back. Go get my arrows out of the body from somewhere else. Although, all the arrows appear to be gone. I'm a little bit hard on health. I didn't bring any health with me. I might have to quickly just eat some food to try and get some health back because I'm a little bit worse for wear right now. I'm going to avoid that rad until the very, very end. And I'm not even sure I'm going to kill the rest of these guys quietly with the bow. There's just so many. Maybe I should just wake them all up and whip out the old, uh, the old oh shit shotgun. If anything goes south, I've got the shotgun there ready to do as much damage as possible when the time comes for it. Come on, darling. Come on. All the way over here. All the way over... Oh, wait, your name's Darlene, isn't it? I should probably actually call you by your name rather than Darling. Oh, right in the forehead. Right in the forehead. I don't think I'm going to kill it with the bow. Oh, I take it back. I took off her arm and I killed it with the bow. Good. So you just got to back yourself, Josh. Stop like, always assuming things are going to go wrong and try and just appreciate it when things go right. Uh Right in the side of the head. Right in the head. That's a perfect bow shot. He didn't care about it, though. He doesn't give a shit about it. my oh, sweet archery skills. He just wants to come and gnaw on my brain and make me regret ever coming up here to try and get some better loot. Don't, 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 don't. don't. Ow, no, stop zooming, stop crouching, stop everything, and get out of here. I'm on my last normal zombie before I get to the rad, and I'm doing reasonably okay. It is 8 o'clock at night. Oh, yes, there's another level up, too. Okay. Are we... So we've got nothing left now except the red. Well, I'm just going to go in here and real quick, before I take him on, let's go up here and go shotgun missile or buy one of those. I'm going to leave... Oh, I'm going to leave that last point for the next thing. I just need Shotgun Messiah just to make sure this can go as well as possible. Oh, Jesus. He woke up. Where did the other one come from? Why are there two now? There was, wasn't two a second ago. That's not fair at all. They are rats. So I have to kill them quick because otherwise they're going to regen all of their health. Got to focus on one, but it's hard to know which one it is when they're moving around so freaking much. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you fucking loop elite froggy bastards. Stop jumping everywhere. Ow, my leg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be bad for Josh. This could be real bad for Josh. I'm sprained, and there's zombies coming for me every which way, and I can't move very quickly at all. I've got my back on something. I've, I've somehow made it up the stairs. I'm not sure how. Put the shotgun away. Shotgun away, dude. It's time for just more firearms. More firearms. Goodness. Drop over the side. Come on, please kill him. Oh, okay. Okay, he's dead. My leg's broken, and I've got one zombie left to try and kill. Die, please. Oh, my God. That was a bad, bad time. Did I bring a, a splint? I don't think I brought a splint. Can I make a splint? What do I need for it? I need wood. I need some duct tape. I've got some glue so I can make some duct tape. Oh boy, that was a bad time to be me. Three more minutes for my sprained leg. Thank you to my splint. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, I don't know where. I don't know where the rest of those zombies came from. I'm guessing like this monster closet here. Not all the loot actually up on the top of the building. I got to drop down into the loot room. But that means that all of the zombies. Has the tower just, like, been slowly being, get, uh, like, destroying itself? I haven't seen, like, this kind of damage since I tried to blow up a Dishong Tower with gas barrels. When I did that, when you take out all the supports of, uh, of Dishong Tower, it, like, splits down the middle here. It doesn't actually collapse. It just, like, occasional blocks here and there fall away, and it creates, like, a big gouge through the center. So maybe that's what's happening. Somehow, the structural support, the integrity of Dishong Tower has been ruined. Um, there's another one there. There's one here. This one there. So were these all normally holding zombies on a like a, on a harder night? I'm not sure. I'm tempted to put my land claim block up the top here so I can always come up and like access the roof nice and easily. But uh, I think that'll go oh badly for me. I already sprained my. Imagine if I broke my leg doing that. That'd be just my luck. But the important thing is that I'm now in the loot room. I can now take whatever I like and hopefully get some decent shit out of this because I very much I very much need something just to make myself feel better about all of the like the effort I just went through to get here. Oh, a rocket launch with some frag ammo. That's a good fight. Happy with that one. I'll scrap that pistol. Although it's slightly better than the pistol I've already got. So maybe I'll scrap this pistol and replace it with there. The extra durability of the secondary pistol is always a good thing. Uh, some mag ammo, some chicken soup. I really, really need some health. That's that's what I need more than anything here. But I went through all of the bathroom, all of the like the medical boxes gave me nothing that actually gave me any help, which is freaking bullshit. What have you got for me? Military vest and military helmets. Uh, oh, I didn't have, I didn't have any freaking um, chest armor. I wonder if I was getting fucked up by zombies all over the joint. Uh, six and three. I mean, I need the I need the mining helmet for uh like for content wise so i can actually see like this so i can't really change that one out but a military helmet's good find all the same so this actually works out pretty okay i was expecting well, i was planning on like tonight like right now going back downstairs and breaking down all of the gym equipment or oh, cooking grill i'm not sure if i've already had one of those or not but having one all the same is definitely a good things so i can make some cooked steaks instead of just like the the charred steaks that you normally get need to break my into that one 
You're already empty. But yeah, I was going to go and break all the gym equipment to get the assortment of uh, forged steel and forged iron stuff you get from those. But this is just a little bit better. I like getting a good amount of loot out of this than just, you know, just the raw materials. No, nope, nothing there. Break down the shotgun messiah crates. Nothing that I really needed right now, though. I'm, slow, I'm almost back to, like, almost maximum health. I've had to wear, use a bandage right now just to get rid of the black at the end of the bar. Um, I'm almost back to that just from, like, the uh, getting health over time from the, um, what should we call it? What's the thing called? Uh, something healing. Natural healing, maybe it was. So I'm almost back to normal from that. But I could really have used, like, a bandage, like a first aid bandage or something just to get here a little bit faster. Oh, this is going to take a while. There's two hardened chests I have to break my way into. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this is going to be like my entire night just standing here beating my way through. In fact, how many stones do I have left? I've got five stones. If I can repair my pickaxe a couple of times, but I really wouldn't mind if I can make... In fact, what, what kind of level can I make uh, things at now? Not perception, in intellect. I can make fine quality. I think so it's one, two... I think I can make level three stuff now? I'm not sure. Do I have the stuff to make an axe? I'm going to waste materials. I don't have the stuff to make... I don't have any plant fibers. Get it all downstairs. All right, well, it's just me, my level two axe, and a bunch of hardened chests then. This is going to take a very long time. It took me almost two full hours, and more than two full hours, to break my way into this bloody chest. It better give me something good. I've gone through two repairings of the stone pickaxe, and we get... Ooh, a, a, a shotgun duck bill. That's okay, because I have no mods for my shotgun right now. Bang that one on there. What else was there? There was a pistol that shit, so I'll scrap that one, and another level two compound bow. Oh my god, that took so long. That took so long for so little. That's so frustrating. I'm gonna do it all over again for this one. Oh, do I have? I've got. I've got three stones left. I'll be able to get away from here with one stone. This is just gonna. Oh, it just, just takes so long. Here we go. Don't let me down now. <laughs> only, only like ten more hits until I can finally get into this thing. Please give me something good. Something that actually makes this whole journey worthwhile. Reward me for my efforts. Give me something. I forget, give me something bad. I don't want anything good. I want something absolutely terrible. I hope you give me nothing. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's see. So lots of ammo, some steel arrows, shotgun ammo, crossbow bolts that I won't scrap this time. I mean, that's not so bad. The first one gave me donuts, and I say that I hope it gives me something bad and something nothing, because then it'll, like, you know, it's like when you're trying to catch a Pokemon. You've got to tell it what you don't want, so it gives you, you're know, trying to try, uh, have reverse psychology on the loot algorithms. But I think, I think I've now looted this entire place. And I'm going to be honest, it was not worth all the effort to get up here. And I definitely do not feel like I uh, this was a good use of my time. I could have stayed downstairs and just like grinded levels out, lured in some screamers, grinded some levels, and done it that way. And that probably would have got me into a better position than I am after doing all of this crap. Oh, well, anyway, there you go. That is the whole of Dishong Tower completed. So now I just have to like retrace my steps, kill some zombies, try and level up as best I can and start breaking down the tower to get as much useful resources as I can. It's almost 4 a.m. So I'm going to build my way back up to there with my frames, climb out the ceiling, go back down the stairwell. I need to start thinking about breaking down those like the barricades in the stairwells as well. Make uh transcending and descending the transcending and descending, ascending and descending or transcending I think covers both. I'm not sure. I should not. I am not like any uh, any sort of uh, reliable resource on the English language. I can barely talk Australian, let alone English. But I'm going to have to get out of here and go home and keep on progressing to try and escape this wrong tower in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like it, make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.